Hello everybody, in this video we are going to solve problem number 2.23 from Fundamentals of Electric Circuit by Alexander and Sadikus 5th edition. In this we are asked to determine Vx and the power absorbed by the Toulomb resistance. Here you have this Vx which is the voltage across this 1 ohm resistance. Similarly, we have to find out the power absorbed by this 12 ohm resistance. Okay, let's get started. So, in order to solve this problem, we have to simplify this circuit because this consists of so many number of resistance and so we have to find out the parallel and the series combination of these resistors in order to simplify them. And then we have to find the current which is flowing through 1 ohm resistor so that you can calculate this Vx. Then we have to find out the current which is flowing through this 12 ohm resistance so that we can calculate the power. For this, what are the tools, methods or the laws or analysis applied? First, we have to find the R equivalent. So, R equivalent is for the parallel combination or for the series combination of the resistance. Then we need to apply the Ohm's law V equal to IR. Similarly, we need to apply current division rule that is the current through a particular branch or the first branch is equal to the total current multiplied by resistance of the other branch divided by total resistance of that branches and we need to use this formula power that is equal to i square r that is measured in watts okay let's get started now we are going to find the equivalent resistances okay so consider these two resistors they are connected in parallel but how you identify that these resistors are connected in parallel? Suppose if you have one resistance named as R1 and this is another resistance R2. This is the first ohm and this is the second ohm okay, of the resistance 1. And similarly you have these two ohms for this, uh, for this resistance R2. And if this R1 and R2 resistances ohms are connected like this. Okay, so one ohm of this R2 resistance is connected to the other arm of this R1. Similarly, the other arm of this R1 is connected to the arm of this R2 so that you get a common connection. Then we say that these two resistors are connected in parallel. In that case, we are finding the R equivalent like this R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2. And this R equivalent will be replacing that two resistors instead of two resistors we have a single resistance in which we place this R equivalent value and you should know that this R equivalent is always less than both the resistor values which are connected in parallel so in our problem we have this case the say ohm resistance and toll ohm resistance are connected in parallel and here these are the arms for the say ohm resistance these two are the arms for this toll ohm resistance they are having the common connection like this that's why they are connected in parallel now for this we can find out the R equivalent that is 8 into 12 divided by 8 plus 12 that is equal to 96 divided by 20 so that is equal to 4.8 ohm and we can actually notice that this 4.8 ohm is less than this 8 ohm as well as this 12 ohm which already i have mentioned so we have found out this r equivalent value as 4.8 ohms these two resistors will be replaced by this 4.8 ohm okay so we got this then if you consider here this 3 ohm and the 6 ohm resistors are connected in parallel so that we can find the R equivalent. The calculation is 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 that is equal to 18 divided by 9. So, we got this is 2 ohm. Okay. So, we got the R equivalent as 2 ohm. So, that we replace that 2 resistors by the single resistor with the equivalent value 2 ohms. Now, if you consider these 2 resistors are in series. Okay. So, for this how do you identify some two resistors as series resistors? So, suppose this is R1 resistance, this is R2 resistance with the ohms. And in this, these two resistors are connected with these two ohms only. So, here only we have the common connection and this ohm may be connected to some other resistor or some other element. Similarly, this ohm may be connected to some other resistor or element or with a reference or something like that. In that case, we say that these two resistors are connected in series okay so for this the equivalent resistance is r1 plus r2 and you should notice that the r equivalent of the series connected resistance is always greater than the two resistor values so let's take this case so here this 1.2 ohm is having this ohm here and this 4.8 ohm this ohm these two are connected here only they have the common okay connectivity here but this ohm is connected to the other resistor, 1 ohm resistor and 
4 ohm resistor. Similarly, this 4.8 ohm resistance, the next ohm is connected to the ground or the reference door. Okay, so only one common connection is here. That's why this is a series connection. In that case, we have to add both the values. Okay, so we got it as 1.2 plus 4.8 that is equal to 6 ohm. So we can notice that the 6 ohm is greater than the values of this 1.2 and this 4.8. Okay, so now we are going to replace this 1.2 and 4.8 two resistors with a single resistor of 6 ohm. Right, so that we got this. Then if you consider these two resistors, these two resistors are in series. Okay, so we can add these two values to get the equivalent. 2 plus 4, that is 6 ohm. So replace this 4 and 2 ohm resistors by 6 ohm equivalent resistor. Then if you consider these two resistors are again connected in parallel. Okay, so that we calculate this equivalent resistance value as 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6. So we got it as 36 divided by 12, that is 3 ohm. So now you replace these two resistors by a single resistance that is equivalent resistance of 3 ohms. Now with that we stop and we are going to find out the current flowing through this 1 ohm resistance. That is we are now coming over to the second step finding this Vx value. Okay. So for this we are going to apply ohms law as well as first we are going to apply the current division rule. So this 20 amps current will be divided into this current which is flowing through this 2 ohm resistance, 1 ohm resistance. So we can write it as 20 amperes is equal to the current which is flowing through 1 ohm resistance plus the current which is flowing through this 2 ohm resistance. So for that we have to apply the current division rule. So what is the current division rule? The current through a particular branch is equal to the total current multiplied by the other branch resistance divided by the total resistance of the two branches. So here, let me take this as I, the current which is flowing through this 1 ohm resistance. That's what we need in order to find out this Vx. So that is equal to the total current that is 20 amps which is entering in here. Multiplied by this other branch resistance. Other branch resistance is this 2 ohm resistance divided by the total resistance of these two branches. That is 2 plus 1 plus 3. So we get this as 6. So when you multiply 20 into 2 divided by the 6, we get the answer as 6.66 amps for this 1 ohm resistance current or the current which is flowing through this 1 ohm resistance. Now we are moving on to find out this Vx. How to find out Vx? For this we can apply Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law is nothing but V equal to IR. So here current is the current which is flowing through this that is 6.66 into resistance is this 1 ohm resistance isn't it so it is smart so that we got the answer as 6.66 volts this is the first answer we got so in order to find out the second section or the power absorbed by the 12 ohm resistance we have to go back in steps okay till we get the 12 ohm resistance along with the current so our aim is first to find out the current which is flowing through this 12 ohm resistance so we have to follow the following steps right so we got this 3 ohm resistance by finding the equivalent only okay so it is nothing but the combination of 2 6 ohm resistance if you go back here i'll show you right by having the parallel combination we got this six, uh, 3 ohm resistance isn't it so when you go back we'll get this right that's what we are doing here so this 3 ohm resistance is replaced by 2 6 ohm resistances. So here what current is flowing? Already we found out that 6.66 amps current is flowing. Now it is being divided into 2 currents through this 2 6 ohm resistances. So since we have equal values of resistance here, it is divided equally. Okay. So it is 3.33 amps. Here also you have 3.33 amps current flowing. Or you can apply the current division rule also. This is by using the common sense. We can do this, right? And then this 6 ohm resistance is to be expanded. That is, we have to go back to the previous steps. So, we actually got this 6 ohm with the help of this. Okay, from this only we got this 6 ohm isn't it so this 6 ohm must be divided into two series resistors as 1.2 ohm and 4.8 so we make it like this 
in that case this 3.33 amps current is flowing through this particular branch once again if you take this 4.8 ohm this 4.8 ohm is the combination of 8 ohm resistance as well as in the original circuit itself we got this so this 4.8 ohm resistor can be replaced by a the parallel combination of 8 ohm and the 12 ohm resistor so in this case this is the current total current entering into this particular node and it is getting divided into two currents like this this i12 and here i82 resistance but we need this current only that's why we can go for this calculation so i or the current flowing through this 12 ohm resistance is equal to this total current 3.33 into resistance of this other branch that is the 8 ohm divided by the total resistance of these two branches so it is 8 plus 12 that is 20 so we get this as 26.64 divided by 20 so it is 1.332 amps we got the current as 1.332 amps that is what flowing if you once get the current then we can calculate the power so power is the formula for power power is equal to i square r okay so we can write this as or we can apply this 1.332 the whole square into 12 that, that is equal to 21.29 watts so this is the required answer so we got the we got both answers vx is equal to 6.66 volt and power absorbed by this 12 ohm resistor is equal to 21.29 watts okay Thank you. Hope you have enjoyed this video.